After six months of owning the Rad Rover electric power bike, I've got to tell you, I love this thing even more. For me, it's the happy medium between my traditional pedal bike and my sport motorcycle or cruiser. Here's why. With a traditional pedal bike, sure, I get plenty of exercise, and with my motorcycles, I can travel farther distance, but the Rad Rover electric bike takes me beyond where I would go with a traditional pedal bike. I live in Florida where the beach is eight miles down the street, and on the same street the other way, it's about eight miles to the city. The Rad Power Bike allows me the freedom to pedal at my own pace with five different levels of resistance, or power the bike forward entirely with a half twist of the throttle and not pedal at all. With an estimated distance on a full charge of 25 to 45 or more miles, this allows me to ride longer than I would on average my traditional pedal bike. The more you pedal in a lower level of assistance, for example, level 1, especially on the mostly flat roads of Florida, the longer the distance you can travel and the less battery consumption you'll use. The Rad Power Bike allows me to cover more ground and being an enthusiast photographer in my free time, the bike has allowed me to see more places in less time and capture more on camera. Another great thing about the Rad Rover Power Bike versus my motorcycle is that I can, for the most part, ride this thing anywhere. With a motorcycle, they're kind of loud and I have to find a designated parking area, sometimes even have to pay to park. With the Rad Rover Power Bike, I can go mostly anywhere and lock my bike to something if I want to stop for a break somewhere. I think the Rad Power Bike is a great way to get out and experience the outdoors, especially for those who might not be willing to commit the energy to pedaling their way around the neighborhood or wherever you may be. The Rad Rover weighs in at 68 pounds, has a top speed of 20 miles per hour, which if you go into the settings can be adjusted to go a little faster, and has a total payload capacity of 275 pounds. Its recommended rider heights are from 5'4 to 6'2, so even if you're a few extra pounds more than you want to be and are reluctant to get out because you think you have to pedal the whole time, this bike allows you to pedal at your own pace or not pedal at all. I think experiencing life outdoors more often is a great exercise and key to keeping your mind sharp and aware of everything around you. There are many great reviews about the Rad Rover Power Bike which go into depth about the specific tech of this bike on YouTube. This video is my perspective of the bike from a consumer's point of view. Anyway, hope you like this video. If so, kindly give me a thumbs up on YouTube, share, and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming interesting videos I create. Thanks.